gave him my dad, my uncle's name. He said it gave him goosebumps. All right, that's all I can carry in one hand. What do you want for it? We're off on another adventure. I found a grinder, one of these. And I'm going to pick it up. Guy uh, said he'd take $65 for it. This grinder sells at Grizzly for $400. I don't remember what they sold for at Harbor Freight, but I haven't seen it listed in a while. But this is a, a grinder designed for grinding tool bits. Um, hopefully, I mostly want to use inserts, but this is a pretty cool grinder um, that I was hoping to get for my shop. So I'm going to go snap this one up while it's available and uh, be a good part of a strong hobby machine shop. <laughs> On my way to get the grinder, I ran across a barn cell. Oh, that thing actually looks pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah. You can go out and mow grass with it right now. <laughs> I believe it. And uh, my boy just sold his place over on Old Springfield. Yeah. And uh, it's his. It's his. Yeah. And yeah. It looks like it's. It looks like it's been in recent years. It. it when I saw this, I was expecting this to be just a little shinier, but it's actually quite a bit nicer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It, it's. It's a nice little tractor. Yeah. It. Uh, I tried talking my wife into a 9N. My neighbor had it for sale. Why do we need a tractor for? And then uh, later that year, you know, we're pushing dirt around in the yard and stuff. And she's like, oh, a tractor would sure make this easier. Moving I don't, trailers and stuff. I'm like, yeah, sure would. This, this has got, I like the, the hitch on the back. Yeah. So that you can hook things up. It's got a PTO shaft. And... Uh, got the belt drive for the and it, it does a nice job mowing yeah if you got acres or anything you need to mow but uh, and I says you couldn't go out and buy a big a lawnmower for that no no you couldn't how big is that deck 60 it's, inches it's no it's six foot six it's, foot 72 it's 70. yeah do you have the power hacks on no okay because <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of itching around I like to restore old tools and stuff yeah. Those are kind of a feel to me. I've been kind of poking around to find one worth restoring. Yeah, I, I don't know where I've seen them hacksaws. They don't they? Yeah, before they, they, they've been out replaced by uh, bandsaws. Uh, ban cut off bandsaws, yeah. yeah. I got a cut off bandsaw. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a more efficient tool. Uh, yeah, I went in there and looked. Okay, we got stuff in this one too. Oh, okay, well, I'll go check it out. If you need any furniture, I'll make you a real deal on it. Oh, I don't need any furniture. That's for sure. Hey, thank you.
on a big soldering iron. Wow, rubber grinding wheel. Gosh, I'm afraid I'm leaving something here that's worth a fortune.
All right, that's all I can carry in one hand. What do you want for it? I don't want the, I don't want the container. I just adopted it as a shopping cart. Those, I think one of the, I think this box was marked a dollar each. Some of this stuff wasn't marked though. This oil can's marked a dollar. These guys were in the neighborhood. I think one of those may be marked. If that's marked, I don't know what it is. That's a hundred dollars. <laughs> There's your chance to get is some mark up. These your books? No. Okay. No. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Got them all, huh? Yep. They all look unused. I might end up with a power hacksaw one of these days. Would you go four bucks on them? Make it ten dollars even. You got a deal. We'll all right. do it all. Oh, it says wrenches on it. Somebody must have bought all the wrenches out of it. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. This way, because this has got oil in it. I know. <laughs> that way I don't have to be uh, smelling that oil if I spill it in my car. For the next, you, for the next you five years. two of them with, with prices on because I... You wouldn't have known otherwise? No, I thought they was five dollars. Well, you know, I've been messing around with lathes and... You know, I use a lot of oil, like a little drop of oil. Yeah. And ordinary oil cans with a pump on it, you can't get that little out of them, you know. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, I, I got these over there for five dollars, so I gave you a deal. Oh well, thank you. Because you had a price on that one. Oh okay. Well, I wasn't trying to get you to sell it to me for no, any, any different amount. That's all right. So, but uh, but yeah, I found one of these about this is I guess about a two inch can. I found one of those about an inch and a half recently that I got bought for a couple bucks, which is just the perfect. Perfect thing to leave some place where you don't want a whole oil can. I don't think there's anything in that one. Yeah, you know how to get, clean them up? Well, I was gonna, I've got a solvent tank. You got another idea? Gasoline. Gasoline, yeah. I'm, I'm going to clean them up, but I just didn't do it this year. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of those kind of projects. <laughs> I, I, we was, we was down in Florida. Mm -hmm. We went to this flea market. Uh huh. The guy had all these oil cans cans of shiny. Oh yeah? And he had every speck of dirt off of them in Greece. Mm-hmm. And he was asking good money for them. Well, I, I know I got a I got a YouTube channel that I share a lot of my workshop projects on. Yeah. And like one of my friends, he's he likes this this style can here and he refinishes them. Yeah. And uh, they're beautiful when he gets done with them, you know. I know I started out a guy a neighbor of mine collected oil cans. Yeah. And I got some of them bigger ones from him, and he, he let go of some of them. And, uh, well, good deal. All right, you made the, a good deal. Did I, did, I, did I get you over the hump for a good day? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be open next week? Fellas, look at that stash, all that stuff for $10. Those hacksaw blades, I'm here to tell you, are worth more than $10 a piece. Now I don't have to be uh, squeamish about buying a power hacksaw that takes those large blades. I got them. Well, there you go. Picked up the grinder. We'll get some video and a shot of it. Saw a photograph of this man in his workshop. Framed photograph of him in a go-kart. And... Uh, Gave him my dad and my uncle's name. He said it gave him goosebumps because he remembered racing with my dad. Man, those were the days, man. When, when he was racing with my dad, I was a little kid. And I was, I was going up to the front at the end of race day to grab his trophy for him. Man, what a small world. You just never know who you're going to meet when you're out and about. And, uh... This guy, he's got a uh, 32 by 36 garage, 14 by 36 lathe, uh, decent sized milling machine, not a bridge port, something smaller. Um, a lot of machine tools, he was a tool maker for Delphi. 
uh, and woodworking equipment too. He he's also does carpentry and stuff like that. He's retired. And he's having to give up his shop because uh, the, the home is too big for his wife to care for. She's got knee and hip problems. So he's at that point in life where he's having to give up some things and he says he hates it, giving up his machine shop. You know, when, a lot of times it's a sad, it's somebody's sad story when you're buying a tool. So I picked up a few small tools I'll show you. I basically spent every dollar I had in my pocket with him. He's got uh, a lot of uh, machining bits and stuff I'd like to buy. Maybe I'll come back next week with some uh, with some more money in my pocket. He's got a uh, roll around Kennedy toolbox. He's got a bottom toolbox. He'll sell for 150. Um, I need one of those, and uh, so I may try to buy that. Uh, it, you know, it costs a lot to get a nice workshop going. And you get it one piece at a time. And it seems like I'm finding things faster than I want to find them. I'd be happy to add something to my workshop once a week, once every other week, once every third week. But it seems like every week I find one or two items. And uh, i got to be careful. I don't want to cause any uh, money stress in my family over the workshop. So, uh, But the, uh, the tool grinder... That's a nice addition, but there again, there's something I'm not intending to use immediately, um, but it was an excellent opportunity to get it at a bargain, so I got it. Dave on the Crafted Channel, here's my buys. On the way to get the grinder. I stopped by a uh, barn sale and I got this Jim Manufacturing Company oil can. These things are cool. All machined. Got an eagle. This one's even got oil in it. It was marked a dollar. So he gave me all three of these oil cans for a dollar each. Awesome. I love these because you can get just the right amount of oil out of them when you want a little bit. I'm short of file handles, and he had some file handles there. I'd like to make my own file handles, but these were three of the best ones he had. It's a little fine one. Lathe wrench of some kind. Three-eighths, and I'm not sure what this size is. It looks a little bigger. I guess it would be uh, seven-sixteenths. And, ooh, it might say under the tape. Let's look. Number 529. I don't know who makes this wrench. But these tool wrenches are, uh, tool service wrenches are pretty cool. So, it's got a T there. You need proper wrenches to go with old tools. And here was the real score. I got a hacksaw blade. I got that by accident. I don't even know uh, how I got that. But here are 10 14-inch um, power hacksaw blades. I don't have a power hacksaw, but I want a power hacksaw. And I've been looking for one that runs on a standard hacksaw blade, a small home shop one, um, because these are so expensive. Well, now that I have a bunch of these, I can maybe look for, I can consider more of them. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, these blades sell for, let's say, $15 to $30 on eBay. So I got the oil cans, the file handles, the service wrench, the 10 blades, and the bonus hacksaw blade for $10 total. So awesome deal. Awesome deal. Just because I stopped at a barn sale. Don't pass up a barn sale. Prices at garage sales and barn sales are out of this world great. Here's my, oh, oh, oh. Don't let me forget this. Uh, three-quarter inch wide, seven thousandths thick fiberglass tape. Um, this tape's a little bit dirty. Um, I got all of these rolls in the deal too. There's uh, what four? There's eight rolls of this. Um, 
I can't really sell this as dead new, but uh, I do sell this kind of tape in my business, and I could uh, I could pull this off and, and sell it as uh, you know new old stock, and probably get oh I don't know maybe two or three dollar rolls, probably three or four per per roll of this. Um, we use this for reinforcing things uh, in model aircraft, so. I <laughs> got a lot of stuff for ten dollars. So the big s score for the machine shop is I got this central machinery half horsepower tool grinder, and this lets you grind precision angles on tool bits, which I haven't done any tool bit grinding yet. But this would be the tool for doing it. Uh, there's a great video series online. I don't remember the name that did it. Um, of a guy that blueprinted one of these and squared it up. He just looked at the whole tool as a kit and he uh, reground and recut everything to make it as accurate and precise as he could. And I've wanted one of these ever since I saw that video series. So now I have one. Um, I don't know what this sold for uh, under the Central Machinery brand, but Grizzly sells it for $400. The very same thing. Probably uh, Harbor Freight was $350 to $450. $65. So this is an awesome addition to the shop. Um, got a light. Don't know where I'm going to put it in the shop. I don't need to work on it really. I can use it just like that. Um, but I can do the upgrades to it also. And sometime when I need to do a lot of tool bit sharpening, I'll have the tool and I didn't have to spend $400. Um, so I've had a lot of scores this weekend. i got to be careful. I'm not going to have room for all the scores. It keeps going like this.